Now, I don't care if he is the 99 overall Pepe Alizar of starting pitchers in MLB The Show. I do not care. I will never in my life ever use a pitcher that has a throwing motion that I could get up from my seat, go get myself a drink in the refrigerator, come back to my seat, and he's still halfway down the meter analog bar for him to throw the ball. I would never in my life ever pick Anderson again to pitch for me in any battle royale game. If I ever see him in a bronze round, you best believe I'm skipping that, even if he only has to face one batter, because trust me, ain't no point in wasting my time if the batter is taking pitches. Not even for fun am I willing to do that. Regardless, welcome back to another episode of the No Money Spent series. We are going to be giving our shout outs for those of y'all that caught that Easter egg in yesterday's video. And in order to catch the Easter eggs, you have to watch the videos fully to be uh, honest with y'all. So let's go ahead and give the shout outs. Number one is gonna go out to Matthew Ruiz. Next one is Jackson Hopkins. And then last but not least, we got Brodar and Jay Money. Now, let's talk about this. We got ourselves a name. Finally, the community I've been building, I've been looking for a name to give it. So we've got a name. And this is going to be the Easter egg for today's video. And I know it's not at the end of the video. So if you really want to, you can stop watching it. But you wouldn't be part of the squad now, would you? So... We're going to be calling ourselves the LYLT squad. Now, we're not literally going to say the four letters. Instead, we're going to call ourselves loyalty squad. But instead of spelling out loyalty, we'll be spelling it out as LYLT squad. So I want y'all to, in the comment section, especially if y'all want to shout out for tomorrow's video, leave, I'm part of the LYLT squad. However you want to say it, that you're part of the squad say it as long as you spell the words correctly and then after that tell me how long you've been part of the squad for so i know since when you've been following me you feel me so let's continue on this battle royale run we are currently seven and zero after we took that dub right there and if you're wondering why the battle royale rewards aren't updated it's because this battle royale run right here was actually done or completed i should say prior to the new battle royale update so that means that we're not going to be getting the extra 60k for going 12 and 0 if we do end up going 12 and 0 and that also means that jimmy fox is not going to be the flawless reward if we do end up going 12 and 0 the guaranteed reward will be the same one that it's always been which is chris sale now with a runner on first we end up flying out for the final out of the inning and welcome back to another episode of the no money spent series i know it took me a long time for me to actually say that so if y'all were wondering if you guys were watching the no money spent series yeah you 100 percent are as we go ahead hit a solo shot right there and head towards the top of the third with the one run lead which seems to be the case in a lot of these games with this squad right here since they don't have the best offense in the world so unless we're playing in course field or a field like laughing mountain park it seems like they just do not get a lot of elevation on the ball so now we're eight and zero heading into our ninth game two one count he's gonna hit a gapper shot this one is going to be unable to be fielded by either Cattell Marte or Ryan Braun Ryan Braun gets the ball off the wall and he looks like he's thinking about going to third we backdoor him at second base and get the out so I'm like okay cool beans now we got Kevin Newman a hit two one count bottom of the first he's gonna go ahead receive a pitch right down the middle he's gonna hit it where it's pitched it's gonna be a line drive right back up the middle for a single and now it's time for us to do some damage with salvador perez who has been an mvp so far in our run and he gets just underneath it as he is to fly out to center field for the final out of the inning so we're in a little bit of trouble i like to earn at least one run in the bottom of the first to put the pressure on the opponent but now full count to mike piazza we just missed the location with the fastball and now it's a one one count to eddie murray he ends up swinging he's gonna think about taking second base we fake throw the first shoot second base we get mike piazza i don't know why he was trying to steal so now we head towards the bottom of the second three one count for ryan braun he gets walked on a sinker that could have been called a strike since it was on the line if you ask me paul Molitor comes up next he gets walked too and now we have matt duffy to hit for us and matt duffy gets an inside pitch and he just has no pop 
I'm just going to be honest. He has no pop in his bat. I mean, that's a line out to the shortstop. That's an embarrassing line out. I thought that for sure was going to be a base hit since I thought we squared it up. And it looks like he has a glitchy swing as well. So I don't understand how he has no pop. But Chinsu Chu up to hit. We get the strike call on him. And we shoot him out at second base as our shortstop tags him on the top of the head. And now it's Paul Goldschmidt's turn to do some damage. In the bottom of the third, he's going to hit a line drive right back up the pedal. What what did I just say? Right back up the middle that could have took off the pitcher's head. And then Cattell Marte, 2-0 count. He's going to hit a ball out straight through center field to make this a 9-0 run. Let's take a look at our 12-win reward and peace out of the video. So if you did end up enjoying today's video, once again, make sure y'all hit that like button and red subscribe button. We're on the road to 1,000. We're so close. So make sure y'all join the family. Have a blessed day and night. Follow me on all social medias at BladeMist. And as always, I will catch you all in the next one. Peace out. This Rob Dibble will definitely help out the bullpen, though, if we could get him.